I'm confused. I, am I not communicating this right? Like, I, I No, I hear you. I'm just saying I disagree. Do you like me? Yeah. Yeah, see, I really like you. So we should be a couple. <laughs> no, no. I, I have pl plans. What are your plans? Dentist. Is that true? No. Trainwreck is this summer's new Judd Apatow comedy starring Amy Schumer and Bill Hader. The story revolves around Amy, who pretty much plays herself as a woman who hates the idea of being tied down and prefers to be single in New York with a good job. Yet somehow she finds herself in a relationship with an all-around great guy who she finds herself falling for. I really wish there were more to this film's premise than that, but from the get-go this movie has the basic format of a romantic comedy. With that said, Amy Schumer, who wrote the film, is undoubtedly hysterical in her starring role. Her character drinks, sleeps around, gets high, and all the normal Apatow tropes, and she nails the comedy aspect in all of them. Meanwhile, most of the male characters in the film are heavily feminized, which starts out funny but thankfully doesn't become the long-running joke. There are also cameos from athletes and sports personalities that will get at least a chuckle from most men, as well as a supporting role from the surprisingly funny LeBron James. Bill Hader plays the romantic interest, pining heavily for Amy, and though he does well with the role, I can't help but wish he was given more comedy to play around with instead of playing the straight man. In the end, I was disappointed that the film didn't surprise me more. Most of what you think will happen happens, and the film never deviates from the romantic comedy formula. It's not so much I didn't enjoy myself, I just expect more out of future Amy Schumer movies, because she can definitely do better. But, any time I laughed, and I laughed a lot, the women in the theater sitting around me were laughing three times as hard. So while I don't like to recommend a film for just one gender and not the other, I think it's indicative of the film overall to say that for women, this film is definitely worth the price of admission. Guys, unless you're a big romantic comedy fan and want to see a movie about a relationship, this isn't what you want to spend your money on for a guy's night out. So find a girl and take her out on a date to see it, because you'll get some laughs too, and that will be worth the price of admission.